Hi, Tate here and welcome back to another video. Today I am working on a commission for one of my friends which I have called Autumn, but before I talk more about that, my giveaway is still open for another week. There will be a link in the description to go enter that and I'll also put a little pop-up thing to the video which has more information about it, so check that out and enter because I think there's only been like 11 entries so far, so pretty good chances of winning at this point. But yeah, anyway, here I am just sketching. It took me a few attempts to actually come up with something I somewhat liked. And just getting the pose as well. I tried using Senshi stock poses and like just putting it in the image to see how it worked, but just nothing really worked. So I tried multiple compositions. And eventually, I went with what I'm drawing right now, but flipped. So, although it does change a little bit, like the face because I failed at it. But anyway, now I'm just adding details like the clothes and everything over the top and this is pretty much the final composition of the piece so I'm starting to add in just rough colours so I have an idea. And yeah. So now I'm going in and just making the lines more solid so that I can do like lock the transparency of the layer so I can add shading without going outside the colours. So I do that for the whole piece and then I start adding in shading and highlights. By the way, I do have commissions open if you're interested. All my prices are on my DeviantArt page, which there is a link to in the description. I won't be offering commissions like this anymore as they just take too much time and I find them really difficult. But I do have other like stuff using line art and chibis and pretty much everything's just on my DeviantArt page, so check it out if you're interested in commissioning me. The face that you see here right now isn't what it ends up being like in the end. I thought it looked really weird so I ended up changing it, which you will see later on in the video. But here I'm finally adding some of the shading to the body and her cardigan hair and all that stuff. All 
Also, there might not be a video next week as I am actually moving out of home and I don't know if I will have internet straight away. So, yeah, I will try and get a video out, but it may not happen because I might have to come back here to my grandparents' house. So, which, I won't have my computer set up here, so it'll also be a bit tricky. So, I'll see what I can do, but I'm not going to promise that there will be a video next week. Something interesting this week that I've done is I tried oil paints for the first time. I didn't do anything majorly big, I just painted a watermelon very roughly in high chroma. But it was interesting and I'm looking forward to using them more. I don't know what our projects are for my painting class yet, but I'm looking forward to experimenting with the oil paints more. In my other classes, Sculpture, we have to make something with the theme cactus ice cream, which I'm really struggling with because I'm not good at sculpture. Um, print making, we have the theme arid at the moment, which we're doing a mono print sort of thing. Um, using like acetate and putting watercolors on it, and we're doing an etching, but etching hurt my wrist too much, so I didn't actually get around to doing that, so I sort of just did two watercolor paintings on acetate pieces. Sort of hard to explain, but yeah. What are we doing in photography? Photography, we've been doing things with flash photography to make it look more natural. Because, you know, when you have the flash on it, it just makes everything look way over bright and it just doesn't look nice. Pretty much just avoiding that. In drawing, we're doing charcoal stuff, which is really difficult. And. I sort of want to do it more, but it's really difficult at the same time. Anyway, um, what other classes do I have? I can't even remember. We have a theory class. I think I've said all my prac classes. I don't know. Anyway, in the actual drawing that you're watching right now, I'm just adding detail to the trees, but I come back and add more afterwards because I wasn't happy with them. I tried using references, but it was still really difficult to make them look good. But I think they look good in the end. So here's where I start trying to redo the face a bit more. It looks better than what it did, but it still has some work. I'm not really good at side profiles and it's something I'm really needing to work on. I haven't been practicing much though because of TAFE, so I really need to try and practice more. So here's where I come back and try and add more detail to the tree. Looking back at it now, I feel like this looks really cool how it is with the really high contrast, but I think I tried to make the contrast lower. It also feels really saturated compared to what it ends up in the end.
Here's where I start with the grass. The way I originally did it took me forever and I decided I didn't like it in the end so I've sped this bit up really fast because it just took forever. But this isn't what I ended up with in the final picture. I ended up going over it with a... Um, I can't remember the name of the brush now. You'll see what it looks like soon but this just lacked contrast and shadows and it looked really badly done. So I ended up redoing it. At least I didn't do the whole image like this and then decide to change it. But here, this is where I actually start changing it. And I add a little bit of dirt near the end of the bridge as if people walk over it a lot. And I still add some grass details but not as much as I had previously. I was trying all different sorts of things. I also added a couple of little rocks around the dirt area. I definitely think it looks much better and it looks really lush and just so much nicer compared to my first attempt at grass. I do the bushes with a very similar technique as I did with the grass. I use the same brush but I made it try and look more bush like than grass like. I'm up to the piece now where I didn't really know what else to add so I was just messing around adding highlights and shadows. Also came back to add just a little more, bit more detail to the face but not much. And I tried to make the nose stand out a bit more because zoomed out you couldn't really see it so I ended up adding a little bush sort of behind her face just to make her face stand out more. Yes, yeah, just adding little details and sparkles, adding the shadows to the leaf because I forgot to do that. But yes, thank you for watching this video. I post every Monday. Be sure to come back next week. Hopefully there'll be a video next week. If not, I'm really sorry. But they usually every Monday. Be sure to give this video a like. And if you haven't yet, subscribe. And I'll see you next week, hopefully.